Sage ACPAC provides distribution codes and sets to help speed up your data entry in accounts payable. A distribution code is an easy to remember name for a general ledger account to which vendor transactions are distributed. For example, you might use the code UTL100 when paying utility bills for Division 100, which is easier to remember than 6700-100. Once you define distribution codes, you can group them into distribution sets to provide groups of default distributions for assignment to vendors. Let's enter a couple of AP invoices to see how distribution codes and sets can speed up your data entry. For our first example, we'll enter an invoice for a vendor that supplies us with items for our warehouse inventory. We'll go to AP Transactions, then Invoice Entry. Let's add a new entry to an existing batch and select Chloride Systems as our vendor. We'll enter an amount in the Document Total field, then jump down to the grid. Here's where distribution codes can speed things up. We need to enter the GL account for inventory purchases, but instead of trying to remember the account number, we'll simply enter INV, which is a nickname we've created for the account. And as you can see, this nickname, or distribution code as it's officially called, associates the correct GL account for us. Now let's take a look at how distribution sets can help automate allocation of an invoice across multiple GL accounts. For this example, we'll enter an invoice from a utility company, Seattle Water Authority, that needs to be distributed evenly across the two divisions of our example company. We'll add a new entry to this batch and enter the vendor code, which is 9500, and we'll enter an amount, $500, and then drop down to the distribution set field. We'll select UTL, which we've set up to distribute utility invoices. Now we'll click the Create Distribution button and the allocations are entered automatically for us and note that the amount has been evenly distributed. Now that you've seen how distribution codes and sets can speed up your data entry, let's take a look at how easy they are to set up. We'll create the codes and sets that we used in the utility invoice example. Let's start with distribution codes by going to Accounts Payable, Setup, and then opening the distribution code form. Our example company has two divisions, 100 and 200. A code already exists for the 100 division, but we need to create one for the 200 division. So we'll click on the new icon and name the code UTL200, and for a description, utilities-div200. And we'll use the finder to select the corresponding GL account. Finally, Indicate whether it's discountable and click Add. Remember that when we pay our utilities, we want to distribute the amount equally across the 100 and 200 divisions. So now let's create a distribution set that will automate this allocation. We'll open the distribution sets form and name the set Util and then provide a description. Next, we'll select the distribution method. For this example, let's choose Spread Evenly. Now we'll jump down to the grid and select the applicable distribution codes, which in this case will be UTL100 and UTL200. And now we'll add the new set. We can add further automation by associating a default distribution set with a vendor. So let's go to Vendors and select our utility company, Seattle Water Authority, and under the Invoicing tab, you'll find that you can specify a default distribution method. We'll select by Distribution Set, and then select the applicable set. So to recap, using Sage ACPAC's distribution codes and sets can speed up your data entry and accounts payable. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage ACPAC system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.